सो शंकर थापा सो यू कम फ्रॉम नेपाल बहुत बहुत बधाई आपको आप पीएचडी इन मेडिसिनल केमिस्ट्री एंड स्टिटिक्स केमिस्ट्री आई वुड से आपका फुल स्कॉलरशिप के साथ में यू आर गोइंग टू कंसास फॉर योर पीएचडी प्रोग्राम थोड़ा मुझे अपने बारे में बताइए टेल मी अबाउट योर बैकग्राउंड फ्रॉम वेयर यू आर कहां से आपने अपनी एजुकेशन वगैरह की है सर एक्चुअली आई एम फ्रॉम नेपाल सो आई डिड माय मास्टर्स इन फार्मेसी फ्रॉम बेंगलोर इंडिया एंड देन बैचलर फार्मेसी आई डिड फ्रॉम नेपाल ओनली after completing masters of pharmacy i joined a government college here as a lecturer and then during that time only i was applying for my phd to the us so finally i got a uh, full scholarship uh, at university of kansas for medicinal chemistry yes and what what is your scholarship uh yes sir. so like uh, it included uh, uh my tuition fee and then uh, additionally they will provide the is like on of around 30000 annually and tell me about your grades undergraduate masters what was your research experience and what was your current last two years job responsibilities actually in my masters uh, masters degree i involved a lot of in research projects including my thesis and then collaborative research also i i was involved in so in masters thesis i did my resource in benzimidazole for the treatment of tuberculosis and then at, during that time only i got exposure to collaborate for other researchers outside the college so mm -hmm. i did little bit collaborative research with them also so i feel that uh, research background of mine helped me to get the uh, phd scholarship in kansas university yes yes, yes. very true and then after yeah yes yeah, sir and I, after that i i, I uh, was involved in teaching academic Field. so i work here in nepal around 1.5 uh, years okay. in a medical college as a, a lecturer of medicinal chemistry mm -hmm. initial one year i worked in universal college of medical science for pharmacy undergraduate student as a lecturer and after mm -hmm. that i got the opportunity to work in government college called madan bandari institute of health science so there hard day i work seven months and during that time i already got the scholarship so now i am leaving i already resigned from both the college so <laughs> i'm preparing for the us mm -hmm. uh, tell me about your yes, uh, the application process in a way shortlisting universities uh, statement of purpose pitching cv and there are other assets as well yes sir yes sir actually uh, those who are interested for phd program so they have to focus on certain things so first thing is the like uh, i believe that if you are a research background so it will help you Yes. if you are not research background that is also fine but mm -hmm. your sop should be proper so your focus why you are going to do yes. the phd yeah. the aim should be very clear so mm -hmm. it is not like you you don't have the publications or research background so that that's fine yes. but the aim for phd should be clear so they will consider that thing so yes. i mean to say sop should be very clear very, very focused. like uh, the focus sop should be there Mm -hmm. and then after that uh, recommendation also uh, help you to get the yes. phd scholarship so mm -hmm. the uh, i suggest you take recommendations who are from the research background and then uh, who have a good uh, research quality of paper in international journals so that it will help you mm -hmm. so that is one thing uh, yeah yeah that is one thing and another things you have to prepare for the cv uh, cv yes. also yes cv i call it scientific contain, scientific statement of purpose <laughs> <laughs> yes sir yeah yeah that is also very necessary so the cv yes. should focus on your research interest so what you are yes. going to do in your phd that things mm -hmm. you have to include in the cv like yes. unnecessary thing we should not include like so yes, that yes. will make your cv very yeah. focused approach presentation yes. is very important yes sir yes, yes yeah yes. Yeah. so these are the requirement uh, for applying in for the phd mm -hmm. and then after that if you once you apply the phd in the university and uh, they will shortlist it if you if they find your cv and sop is yes. very good yeah. they will they will shortlist you for the uh, online interview mm -hmm. so yes. after yes. sometimes they will call, yeah call you for the interview uh, yeah and then if like they were saying me if you are selected for the interview that means 90% of getting yes. phd is yeah, fixed yeah, yeah. yeah that is Good yeah team. that so so that means we have to focus on our documentation that is mm -hmm. important so Very good things and then cv things i mm -hmm. think you so i think our sir is 
guiding own source things for mm -hmm. uh, like preparing the cv and all the things yes. so you can uh, get a guidance from sir also so he is mm -hmm. experts on that thing so, yes, so yes. because like once you are shortlisted that uh, that means uh, 90% of the job is done is confirmed <laughs> job is done yeah so interview is uh, it's for just a formality they will ask you minor questions why phd why this university why this course mm -hmm. and then what is your driving force to pursue the phd so these are mm -hmm. these types of questions they will ask yes, if, yes. if you prepare these types of questions mm -hmm. and then for that also you can take from help from the sir so yes, sir yes. can help on that that things also so yes. it will be better so okay. overall this is the process for uh, phd so just you have graduated <clears throat> excuse me nepal mein. masters you, yes, I mean, you went to india why yes sir actually sir in nepal like there is no masters program for the medicinal chemistry so Achoo. that is why i choose india choose. yes sir so in how many years you live here in india uh, in bangalore i lived for two years sir. for okay. my masters only i lived there really? so that's why i choose india for the masters sir okay nice yeah i think india is very good in india Pharmaceutics, medicinal chemistry, and all that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Did, did you yes, do sir. any job here also in India? No, sir. Like uh, I went there for the study. After completing the study, mm -hmm. I directly yeah. returned back okay. to Nepal. So I joined as a uh, lecturer in Nepal. So. Yes, yes. So tell me uh, one more thing about uh, the challenges uh, you faced uh, till now uh, okay. to the success that you, you achieved till now. Yes, sir. So, actually, like, uh, I follow the slow process. So, like, in my subconscious mind, uh, while doing the master's, like, in mm -hmm. my subconscious mind, uh, it was clear that I'm going to do the uh, PhD in future. So, in my master's only, I prepare for the, so for that, uh, what was necessary, that was the first thing was the research. So, mm -hmm. I, uh, I was very clear in my mind. That's why in my master's, I mostly focused on the research thing. So yes, yes. that was uh, that was the challenge part. No so, th but but I did, the, I, I take a long time for that, two years, three years, I took for that. So like it, it, didn't, it didn't give me the burden. So mm -hmm. it was smoothly going on. And after getting the uh, offer letter and all the I-20 uh, I yeah. and then all the things, so... After that was, it was a headache for me. Yeah, so actually, nice. so yeah, visa yeah. interview, like uh, cracking jo the hard work jo karte wa, wo matlab hard work yes, sir. eventually wo fruit ke roop mein aata hai once like admission. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, 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 sir. So, so yeah, I asked Hale. So your DM, DM, yes. mother, your biometric was in Delhi and interview yes, was sir. in Kolkata. Uh, Share the Kolkata. experience, question and answers with the visa officer. Yes, sir, actually. Actually, yeah, so all the, that job interview, sorry, the visa interview date was scheduled by the sir for me. So mm -hmm. I was from Nepal, but I uh, gave my visa interview from India, uh, biometrics from Delhi and then interview from Kolkata. So mm -hmm. visa interview was like, uh, it was nice experience because actually I, I, I find myself as a lucky uh, before one day of visa interview, I like we did a mock test with the sir. So yeah, little yeah. Bit that also helped me and then give me the confidence to mm -hmm. face the uh, face the visa interview. Yeah. So during interview, that lady asked me for the first questions was because my passport was little bit uh, that was uh, not in good conditions because I traveled <laughs> from Nepal. So the first questions that visa officer lady asked me, what happened to your passport? It is not in good conditions. Like so mm -hmm. a little bit crack was there. Okay. So that situations also I handles very calmly. Like, yeah, yeah I, I didn't like uh, panic in that situation. Mm -hmm. So I told actually, ma'am, I, I traveled from Nepal. So that's why because of that things like my visa, uh, that uh, passports like was in that condition. She mm -hmm. said, okay, okay. And then after that, she saw, she asked me the document. So I passed that I-20 and then she saw my, that uh, I'm going in graduate research assistancy. Yes. So she asked me about the, what is this graduate uh, research assistancy? And she was like a little bit like uh, unable to pronounce that terminology. I, don't, I think she is not from the America. I think she is from other, other country. That's why it was difficult for her. So I explained about that graduate research assistancy and after that she saw my the form that uh, whole D60 form and then in mm -hmm. that form yes, I 
yeah i feel that i work as a lecturer in nepal so she asked me about oh you are a lecturer over there mm-hmm. i said yes ma'am i did for two years of lecturing and then she immediately asked me the cross question so are you going to do lecturing in us also like mm-hmm. you want to be a lecturer over there also so she asked immediately i said no man it's not my plan is so i am very clear that i am going there for my uh, research assistantship so i will work there as a researcher mm-hmm. so yeah and after that she asked me is the like program is fully funded i said okay yes ma'am fully funded yes. and then she smiled and then she said okay and approving your visa <laughs> collected from yes. very relaxed so that was my yeah 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 uh, yes. it was hardly one mm-hmm. one minute of interview hardly so mm-hmm. yes yes so, uh, so from that interview like i yeah i i got to one things like uh, uh, be prepared about the uh, design to be questions but uh, don't think they will ask whatever you prepared yeah it's true so, don't panic yeah. these are the questions but, yeah yeah that is do the thing. so so don't panic Come do not panic design. like what yeah whatever the questions they ask you just give the true answers to that so stick on that answer so mm-hmm. don't like give them the fake uh, informations or the fake answers so yes yes that is the main thing so be calm mm-hmm. and then give the truth answers so they okay. they want to listen the truth very true yes i agree with you completely uh, with you to abhi rehne wagaira ki vyavastha ho gayi housing and all that Yes, sir. Housing के लिए अभी अभी कर रहे हैं सर या या टूडे ओनली वी बुक वन अपार्टमेंट लाइक वी थ्री पीपल्स आर लाइक प्लानिंग टू लीव देयर फ्लैट वगैरह बुक हो गया यस सर टूडे ओनली वी बुक अच्छा दिस इज अनदर स्टूडेंट आई थिंक अंजा शी इज आल्सो गोइंग कंसास या या Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Kansas also. Like mm-hmm. from India, I got to know two people are there in my de- in my department. department like, yes, yes. Yeah. You, you can make a good good group up there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. From Nepal also, around we are ten people are going for University of Kansas. Kansas, yes, it's a good group. Yes, sir. Bahut yes, bahut, Shankar. Uh, thank you so much for your time, and I think uh, spend the remaining time probably once you end up in US, gonna be very very busy. <laughs> yes sir thank you thank you sir kuch kehna chahte hain few words about our mentorship uh, efforts uh, yes sir yes sir like i want to say like uh, i think the sir is very good mentor for getting the phd is uh, scholarship in us and then the you know he helps from the zero level so he will guide you for your visa for so if your cv sop and then selections of university that is very crucial part so according to your uh, grade and then CB, he will guide you to find the best university which is suited for you. So in that uh, case, also he is there to help you uh, any time. So uh, he is there to help. So I find like it's very, very, very good mentorships. And then especially I am from Nepal, that's why I want to say like uh, all I, I don't know Nepalese students are not aware about you. So that uh, mm-hmm. I think uh, this video will yes yeah uh, yeah helpful for Nepalese student also if you want to. uh need a guidance or the mentorship for the mm-hmm. uh, process and then all the things like he is there so mm-hmm. he is genuine that, that much i can say hello mm-hmm. so because i believe in i know him personally also and then i have been knowing him since six months so he is genuine and you can take a guidance and then mentorship from him so it will be better for nepalese student also i think sir sir can guide for nepalese student also there is no problem. yes yes so, so i think uh, uh, after your selection and uh, there are a couple of student from nepal they yes sir contacted me i don't know maybe uh, other youtube channel they are watching and somehow getting okay, yeah. you know yeah. mentorship yes, yes. kahan se hai aap nepal mein basically nepal i think i am western part sir like uh, it's in near, near near to uh, what we called dangadi we called here dangadi how far city. from kathmandu Yes, sir. It's very far from Kathmandu. It's I think really six, seven hundred kilometer, seven hundred kilometer away mm-hmm. from Kathmandu. I wish to go there, uh, Pashupatinath Temple, <laughs> in future. Yeah, yeah. You can, sir. You can. Yeah, it's very nice. Like see, uh, I will. I will contact with you once. Once I. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. 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 Sure, sir. <laughs> thank I you so much, you, Shankar. I wish you all the best. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank Good you. Good luck. Sir. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. 